the Daily Gospel Network, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ every day. Join our featured ministry for happiness, healing, and purpose. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us as we proclaim God's love and help you step into your season. Coming up on the Daily Gospel Network. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with a one touch ministries. We're here for you right now. Hey, blessings, everyone. Welcome to the One Touch Ministries broadcast right here on the Daily Gospel Network. I'm Pastor Shannon Young. This is my wife. Prophetess not Deach for Young. Hey. <laughs> She, she, I, I finally let her do, 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 do her herself. Thank because, you. Because, yeah, you know, I like to act up sometimes. Too but much. It's, but it's all right, though. <laughs> it's because I love her and I appreciate Amen. her. And this is the love of my life. Thank this you. is the Grand Prophetist. Ah, yo, it's so funny. <laughs> Y'all have to forgive my husband. Sometimes he gets a little out of control. But no, for real, I appreciate you, honey. You yes. are the love of my life Aww, as well. Thank you so much. Awesome. So listen, she will be, uh, we will be actually yes. in South Carolina on Ooh. tomorrow. Y'all probably remember this man right here. Bishop Rice. We're going to be at his church and let them know where they can meet us at. Okay, so we're going to be at Bishop Rice Church, which is going to be on May 23rd, 2021 at 5 o'clock p.m. I'm telling you, it's going to be at the Powerhouse Church yes. of Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say that again. I said the Powerhouse uh -huh. of Deliverance. My God, Jesus. Okay, yeah, I felt the power. Yes. Yeah, I had to let y'all know it was powerhouse. Yes. Powerhouse. <laughs> we had a powerful time. Listen, we finna to have a Jesus. great time in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I'm so excited for that. Then we're going to come back. Then the first Saturday of June, we are going to have our Father's Day special with a great friend of mine, a real brother of mine. My God. I am so excited about this. Uh, he, to me, he's the bishop. Yes. But he is Pastor Eldris D. Burroughs all the way from Bermuda. And I'm telling you, it is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And I want you guys to be able to tune in. It's actually going to be held um, right on our ministry page. Yes. And if you want to join us right there on uh, on your screen, you want to, you're seeing the flyer that you can register. Uh, OneTouchMinistries.net forward slash brothers so make sure you guys tune in and it's going to be just absolutely phenomenal it really is i am so excited about um hearing this father day father's day message yes. and also i just want to let y'all know too uh -oh. <sighs> yes yes we will be celebrating Hallelujah. our wedding anniversary yes. as well yes Yes. Four amazing years. When I tell you, it has been, it has been a journey, but it has also been amazing, an mm -hmm. amazing journey. And I would not trade this journey in. And I'm not. He didn't have to pay me for this one. 
Uh oh. Not wink, wink. <laughs> he didn't have to pay me for that. And I'm honestly saying because if you don't know me, but you'll get to know me right now, uh -huh. I am an honest person when it pertains to um, if something's not right. And when mm -hmm. I tell you, it has been a journey, but it has been an amazing journey with you. Oh. And uh, I appreciate you, and I I praise God because we actually have grown together. Yes. We have grown in ministry together. Yes. Um, what we what I. Mm -hmm. I won't say him because it was me. Mm -hmm. What I used to say no to, mm -hmm. I'm I'm more saying I'm saying more of a yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. it. It may be difficult, but let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, it's not our will; it's God's will. And yes. you know, if God said do it, then He's gonna provide. That's right. That's and, and I just I'm grateful to God for that with you. You know, we. Amen. Make a phenomenal team. High five. Yes, high five. Woo! <laughs> and so we're going to be celebrating our anniversary, um, which is on June the 17th. And then that weekend, we're going to be celebrating <sighs> yes. One Touch Ministries as an official ministry. Yes. Uh, for 12 years this year. 12 years years guys listen yes. my husband and I both have been doing ministry for a very very yes, very very long, long time, time. okay yes. I, and I'm not talking about 10 years I'm talking about 20 something years yes. okay we got together and we began to form things together so that was a different dynamic as well mm -hmm. so for us to be able to do this for 12 years and yeah. like independent See, mm -hmm. we've been serving in other ministries for almost 20 some years, but independent, we've been doing it 12 together. Um, and it's just been, yeah, it's yeah, been amazing. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's been good. It's been, it's <laughs> That's been, why I got it. It's been amazing. It's been <laughs> really, really good. Um, so, yeah, so 12, 12 years. Well, you know, because you, cause you was pastoring first. Yes, Before I was. Before we um, got, got together. together. Yeah. Then I was doing ministry and stuff yes. like that. And and actually, uh, on the flyer, it says, what, what's the date on that flyer again? It's going to be June 19th. No, no, no. Not June 19th. I'm talking about this weekend for, for Pastor Rice. The 23rd. The 23rd, yeah. So, uh, actually, wow. I've actually been doing ministry since... May 23rd, 1999, when I first started, and I did my first ever sermon. Oh, wow. Congratulations. So, so I did my anniversary. <laughs> I just thought about that. <laughs> that he is, is such a big kid, if you I'm haven't realized. You, I really am. I really am. I'm telling you. Yep. So amazing. And I want to thank Pastor King. He's going to be doing our yes. service on we that praise day God as for well. our pastor, our pastor, Pastor King. Excuse me, I'm sorry, yes, honey. Go ahead. Pastor King um, I, and Lady Beth, let me tell you something. They have been amazing support to our ministry because we even had the encounter last week. And the encounter mm -hmm. last week, I'm telling you, he allowed us to op he opened up the church building for us yes. to have an amazing encounter and not just an amazing encounter with God, but an amazing encounter with people because yes. we have a ministry that attracts a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have too many um, seasoned saints. I don't like to say older saints. I like mm. to say seasoned, seasoned because saints. they are seasoned. You mm. know what I mean? They've been Absolutely. doing ministry for years. So they're seasoned. But we have a lot of young people who are broken, who have been through stuff that yes. has fell by the wayside, that smoke weed, they drink, they fornicate. Some mm -hmm. of them are still trying to find their sexuality, not yeah. knowing which way to go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it stems from past hurt. Yes. Yes. Things that just could not get right yes. you know stuff that they went through as children mm -hmm. that they never got um healed from yes. you know and it has carried on their backs to their adulthood mm -hmm. and i praise god because you know we've been through so much mm -hmm. on our own we've mm -hmm. been through stuff in our marriage mm -hmm. but god has given us exactly what we've been through yes yes we've been through so much yes. stuff and i praise god because mm -hmm. we're skilled mm -hmm. we mastered it yes we mastered coming out. Yes. We mastered staying out. Yeah, there you go. And so and this is and this was one of the reasons, uh, this is how I ended up actually forming One Touch Ministries because it started yeah. off as, you know, um, youth and young adults and, and stuff like that, trying to help them understand and number one, that Jesus Christ actually loves them. Come on, exactly. That's God the actually loves it. It doesn't matter yes. who you are or what you you know, whatever 
um, sexuality and this and that. You have to first understand and know that God oh, really does love you. And Jesus. so many preachers, I, I really didn't know this, but so many preachers preach that there's this God that's way up in space somewhere and he just ready to come down and slam the hammer down exactly. to, you know, to to place judgment and that's not the God we serve we serve a God that loves us and that he can take care of us and not only that um you know like you were saying that hey we you can be delivered you can be healed that's you can right. be set that's free right. that's and so right. then that's that's how our God actually ended up giving me um touching hearts and changing lives because that's what we want to do we want to touch people hearts and, and change, change their, their lives, lives. That's it. <laughs> I love it. Yes. You know, it also brings us into the reason why we're talking about um, our ministry and talking about more about what we do, mm -hmm. about changing hearts and 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 touching uh, touching hearts and changing lives. Yes. Um, when I was a young person, you said something that was so valid. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that loved me. Come on. When I tell you, mm -hmm. at 13 years old, taking pills mm -hmm. to kill myself. Oh my God. Cut, I, I used to be a cutter and I still have a mark or two on my arm from taking razors trying to cut myself. Wow. Because I didn't think that Jesus loved me. Come on. I didn't think I was thin enough. Y'all see me, I'm a plump girl and I ain't never been thin mm -hmm. at all in my entire life. <laughs> I came out heavy, but I was, my self esteem was really, really low. And with my self-esteem being so low, I used to take pills to try to to really numb the reason why I was going through stuff. And I was taking pills to, to kind of like take, take the pain away. I was cutting myself, trying to take the pain away. And I'm telling you, I never thought that Jesus loved me because I just didn't think I was good enough to be loved because I wasn't thin. So because I wasn't thin, I thought I needed to be thin for God to love me. I thought I needed to have long hair for God to love me. I thought I needed to have a higher education for God to love me. Listen, I know some of y'all are probably saying, why is she talking like this? I'm talking like this because it's touching somebody's heart and it's about to change somebody's life Come right on. now. I'm telling you right now, this message right here is getting ready to turn some young person around and let them know that they are not alone. They're not by themselves. That God really does love them and God sees them and he knows their name. Hallelujah. And that's what the problem is today. Nobody wants to tell the young people, we know that you're going through something, but God loves you and God sees you and he knows your name. You don't have to be perfect to be a part of the God thing. Woo, glory to God. See, a lot of times we don't understand that we don't have to be perfect. You say, well, I need to get my life right before I come to Jesus. Let me tell you something. You don't have to get your life right. That's the reason why. That's the reason why you haven't come to him is because your life ain't right. Now is the time to say, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to come to God just the way I am. And then let God do the changing. See, that's the problem. Y'all want to change everything. You can't change nothing. You're not God. You're not God. You can't change it. And let me tell you, God loves to know that our uh, that, that 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 his people are yes. in need of him. Just yes. let go and let God change you. Right where you are. If you're saying right now, I I I really want God to change me. Okay, just re put your hands up right now. Yes. Just put your hands up right now yes. and say, Father, change my life. Father, change my life. Just change my life, Father. Yes, I Lord. dedicate my life back to you. Yes. I need you to change me. I can't change me. You change me. I dedicate my heart back to you. Yes. I dedicate my mind back to you. See, cause see, you can say I dedicate myself to you, Father, but do you dedicate your heart? So I dedicate mm. my heart to you, Father. Yes. So I can so I can feel right. Yes. I dedicate my mind, God, back to you so I can think right. Yes. Woo. I dedicate my lips back to you so when I speak, I speak positive words and not something negative. Come on. God, I dedicate my eyes back to you so when I see things, I don't see the glass half full, but mm -hmm. I see it full all the way to the brim and it's running over. Yes. My God from Zion. Hallelujah. I dedicate my hands so everything that I touch mm -hmm. has to turn into something great. Yes. My God, I refuse to touch anything that's not of God. See, those are the things that you got to say to God. And I guarantee you, within seconds, you'll begin to see God's hand begin to move. Yes, that is Ooh. so true. And especially when, when, when it comes down to 
you know, really trying to change your life around. Yes. You know, sometimes there are steps. I like what um, Avenger Shellsworth said. You know, it was like, you know, a lot of people are against steps sometimes. You know, uh, some deliverances do happen instantaneously. Yes, yes. But some deliverances, you have to be able to just take the steps. And so, you know, so one of those steps is that if you know that you're being delivered from drugs, come on. The first step is get away from the people it, that you are doing the drugs with. Yes. And get don't away go from back. the access and don't go back. Don't yep. go back. Yep. Ooh, you have to go back. I like that. Get away from the access. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, you do. You got to get away from the access. That that is the first step right there. So when when God began to change my life and my heart around, you know, because yeah, I just was just bad. I just leave it at that. I was just bad. <laughs> and so you know, so for me, you know, there was certain music that I couldn't listen to because it made me want to go out and go commit those sexual acts. Amen. And so, you know, so for a long time, I didn't listen to secular music. And I mean, I, I'm free. I've been released from God yes. to be able to <laughs> listen to it now. Praise God. <laughs> but I mean, but it's been years where, you know, in order for me to get those things out of my mind, I had to stop listening to it. That's right. And so, you know, that was just part of my conviction yeah. to make sure that, you know, um, Growing up, I didn't grow up. I mean, I grew up in church, but I didn't like you. You grew up. You came oh, out of child. the womb, honey. I came out of the speaking womb. Speaking in tongues and shouting. Speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a toddler. <laughs> you know, I, I had the quickening and everything, child. Because my parents, mm -hmm. um, you know, bless my father's uh, heart. He's going on to be with the Lord, but my mm -hmm. mother is still pastoring. Mm -hmm. She's still pastoring the church in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. They've been pastoring it. You know, she's been there for over 40 years. Yeah. And, you know, and, and not to speak bad or, or talk down about the church, but can I tell you this? Mm -hmm. What I have noticed, that the church is still the same exact way. Wow. 40 years. Wow. They still run it the same way. Mm -hmm. They still sound the same. Wow. And it's still them same few people there. We want to touch more. more people. Yes. We want to touch the nation. So that means we have to change as individuals. Yes, we do. It takes all kinds of bait to mm -hmm. catch all kinds of fish. Mm -hmm. If you use the same bait to mm -hmm. try to catch different kind of fish, mm -hmm. I guarantee you somebody's going to reject you. That's so right. my question to a leader today, are you willing to change so you can gravitate to more people? Are you willing to change your speech? Are you willing to stop dressing up all the time and dress down every now and then and say, hey, listen, let's take it to the streets. You got so many people that want to stay inside. Of, what I love about our ministry mm -hmm. is that we are not a ministry that's inside of a building. We go to the streets. Mm -hmm. We go to the street corners. Mm -hmm. We in the stores. Mm -hmm. I prophesy to people in the store, mm -hmm. in the market, in Walmart, Kmart. I don't even know if Kmart is still around. But wherever, Target, Target, whatever. Mm -hmm. I call the diners. The diners. Applebee's. Applebee's. I'll be on Texas the phone. Texas Roll House. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on the phone with my all the husband. recent places. Yes. I'll be on the phone with my <laughs> husband in the car. And I'll see somebody. I had prophesied to somebody um, at a stop sign, at a stoplight. Mm -hmm. I was driving and I looked at her. And the Holy Ghost told me that she was um, going to receive more. You know, she to keep doing what she was doing. She needed encouragement. And I wrote my window down. I said, hey, girlfriend, you looking real good. And I began to encourage her. In the spirit, and she said, thank you so much. I needed to hear that. You never know what people need to hear. Yeah. So this is what I love about our, our relationship. And I love what, I, what we do in ministry. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our relationship reflects our ministry. Mm -hmm. It does. It really does. Because yes. people see us and they be like, y'all so jolly. Mm -hmm. say, because we really do have the <laughs> And we like this for real. This we like this for real. This ain't no play play. This ain't yeah, no yeah. lights, camera, action, ching, no. ching. This no, ain't no this ching, ching thing. This is every day. <laughs> This is how we are. This you know what I mean? That's why I say he ain't had to pay me to tell him, you know, he's he been a good husband. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love what we do. I really yes. do. And I'm so grateful to God that God put in your heart mm -hmm. 
yes. for One Touch Ministry to be birthed. Yes. And I praise God. I praise yes. God for being the prophetess of mm -hmm. One Touch. Mm -hmm. I'm not the pastor. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to tell you what she is, though. <laughs> Newly certified life coach. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I'm telling you. Yes, this right here. <laughs> Is a whole nother step in ministry. So, yes. let me just ask the question really quick. So, yes, sir. What made you want to go into this field right here, this life coaching field? Ooh, because I love helping people. Mm. I really do. Mm -hmm. Because I've been through so much. Mm -hmm. I've been through a lot. And my thing is, I don't want to see nobody go through what I went through. And if you did go through, or you still in what I went through, mm -hmm. but I want to give you the steps to come out, yes. and then I want to give you the steps to stay out. Yeah. See, it's easy yeah. for me to tell you, girlfriend, Mm -hmm. You know, you had a baby daddy. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's okay to, you know, you don't went on with your life. But I got to teach you how to not to, to accept them calls. Come on. Them there booty calls. Oh, hallelujah. See, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you can have a baby father, yes. Yes. I have, you know, I have a child. Mm -hmm. I have a, 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 a um, her, her father. He would call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I had to know how to say, uh-uh, bro. Right. Nope. Yeah. If it ain't about the baby. Mm-hmm. Ain't no need for us to talk. There you go. Ain't no need for you to knock on my door at midnight. And let me tell you something. I established that with him early on. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. When he would drop my daughter or drop our daughter off, mm -hmm. he never came up my steps. Come on. Because why? I set the standard. Mm -hmm. I said, when you drop her off, just text me that you outside. I'll come to the door. He came. He will walk her to the steps. He never came up. He stayed on the sidewalk. Made sure my daughter got up. And he would say, how you doing? And keep it moving. Because I made sure he knew this ain't no booty exchange. You had that opportunity. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I give you steps as a life coach on telling you how to get out of a situation and how to stay out. And don't mm -hmm. keep going back because you're going to ruin your life when you constantly keep going back and forth. That's true. That's very true. So um, right now I have the flyer on the screen yes. to tell you how to get in contact with Prophets and Aditra to... Um, for, for this life coaching, you yes. may need uh, some actual help. And in order for you to get that help, hey, listen, talk to somebody who's That's not right. only been through something, That's but right. have been gifted and anointed. You know, wow. when we do Ooh, I like that. Like, that was hot. <laughs> Ooh, she, I felt the, I, I, I felt the anointing on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Suey sauce. Hallelujah. <laughs> Suey sauce. <laughs> I mean, he was following it up. But, you know, I like that because I am anointed to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people say, you know, oh, I'm anointed. No, but I do believe and I know for sure yes. that I am anointed to help folk. But my thing is, like you said earlier, something that um, Evangelist Shuttlesworth said. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to follow the steps? Come on. Bro, like, yeah. don't tell me that you want the help. Mm -hmm. And like I told a gentleman before, I said, bro, listen, I keep, I need you to pray with I said, I I'm not praying with you. Let me tell you why I'm not praying with mm -hmm. you. I said, I love you dearly. I said, but yeah. I told you, thus saith the Lord already. Right. I didn't tell him, thus saith Dietra. I said, thus saith the Lord. Come I on. said, I told you, thus saith the Lord. I told you what the Holy Ghost told me to share with you. Mm -hmm. I said, your problem is you don't want to follow the steps. You don't want to go, go through the process. Come if you don't want to go through the process, it. there ain't no need for me to talk to you. There's no, no need. No, I can't no. keep praying for somebody that don't want to follow. Mm -hmm. Y'all better follow them steps. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so, you know, and when we counsel and we when we do this, um, you know, yes, there's a book and there's things, everything else. But also what I love is that, you know, this is Holy Spirit led counseling. We counsel each other. Yeah. After we, we do. done counseled you, we counsel mm -hmm. each other. Because yeah. there's times that my husband has to check me and say, babe. Blasey, 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 blasey. And I'll be like, but bro, mm -hmm. you know, but that's how I'm feeling. He was like, but yo, I don't like when you say that. I don't, mm -hmm. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. I'll be like, oh, for real? Mm -hmm. He'll be like, yeah, you got to check that. Then I have to go to him mm -hmm. and I have to apologize and say, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for what I said. I'm sorry for how I said it. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I never want to do to the man of God is crush the man of God. Mm -hmm. Lower mm -hmm. your spirits. You know what I mean? That's right. not what I'm here to do. I'm supposed to be your helpmate, right? right? Then I need to help you instead of, you know, beating you up. Yes. And vice versa. You do the same thing. Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, yeah, that's that. how we do that for each other. That's, that's how come we still like each other. <laughs> No, I'm serious. Like, yeah. cause you got people that been married forty some years. I've been married forty some years. Mm -hmm. But do you like one another? Yeah. 
exactly. Do, do Have you been like doing it right for the past 40 years? <laughs> I stole that from her. Exactly. That, Have you that, been that doing it right quote. for the 40 years? That's her quote. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Have you been doing it yes. right for the past 40 years? Yeah, exactly. Because you can be doing it wrong. <laughs> Hello. And that's why y'all not growing. That's why when y'all look at each other, you know, y'all not mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. People see us, I mean, in the street, they be like, yo, where y'all come from? Mm -hmm. Jersey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so listen, so if you are in, because you're actually doing appointments for in-person as well as yes. virtual. And listen, let me tell you, I also, excuse me, I didn't mean no, to go ahead. You, but I just wanted to let y'all know too, I also cancel families. Mm -hmm. We also have a family price up to five people. Like if you have a family issue mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed, and sometimes you need a middle person, mm -hmm. a middle person, somebody that can talk for you or explain things. Because sometimes we hear stuff, and all we hear is what we want to hear, mm -hmm. and not what the person is really saying. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. so we do do that. So to do throw that. that out. Okay, and um, also um, to do that. Also. Um, Certified. You can certify. Yes. So not only can you get Woo! professional help. Yes. Hallelujah. You, have two you get anointed help. And let me encourage you as a pastor, as a leader, as a minister. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm about to pitch this thing. I only got a few more minutes. Go ahead. All you. Listen here, leader. You got all these people, Bishop, that's all up under you. And I'm and, and and you know they're coming for you, to you for counsel, for training, for teaching, and all this other kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> but don't look at me. <laughs> you're doing this stuff for free. Exactly. Get paid. You, listen, th this th this right here offers you the opportunity to say, listen, uh, and, and instead of charging them, instead of saying, hey pay this every yearly fee and pay this fee listen let me help get you certified as a life coach you're free to be in our establishment is let me certify you so that you have the proper tools that's right when y'all do be conferences able to too do conferences yeah, yeah when y'all do a conference yeah. because i'm going to be doing a conference ladies but when y'all yeah. do a conference offer you if you're certified as if i certify you as a pastor mm -hmm. you can go and certify other life coaches yes. as well in your congregation yes. especially if you have a pastor or evangelist who's really good in mm -hmm. helping mm -hmm. people working with people they help solve people's problems and yeah. they know how to give that godly wisdom mm -hmm. and it really does work mm -hmm. you know what i mean hey book wisdom yeah book wisdom spiritual wisdom bible it. biblical wisdom i'm telling you Shh. this is something that you need as a leader as a pastor as a That's bishop right. as an evangelist all of that you need to get certified and you need to be able to certify some other people as well. Start your own academy as that's a life we, coach. That's it. That's what we did. We started an academy. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. And all I need is a day of your time. A yep. day of your time because I want to run yep. through some steps with you. Different things of that nature. Like I said, if you call us, our number yes. is. Hey, the number is, I'm going to put it right here on the bottom of the that's screen. Right. Come on. It is 844-U-WIN. I'm telling you. I love it. 844-U-WIN. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you're going to be so blessed. And yeah, ministries. We are an amazing ministry, and we take it to the streets. Okay, yes. so these young people can know that somebody loves them, other than their mommy and their daddies. And if their mommy and daddy does not love them, they need to know that Jesus will take them up. That's it. Jesus gonna take them up. So it don't matter when the word says, "When my father and my mother forsake me, mm -hmm. Jesus will take me up." For more information on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.